Dragon Gets By. The number is 19846. 19846. Dragon Gets By. Dragon sees the day. One morning, one warm sunny morning, Dragon woke up and yawned. He was very groggy, and whenever Dragon woke up groggy, he did everything wrong. First, he read an egg and fried the morning newspaper. Well, then he buttered his toast, or he, he buttered his tea and sipped a cup of toast. <laughs> Finally, Dragon opened the door to see the day, but Dragon did not see the sun. He did not see the trees or the hills or the flowers or the sky. He saw only shadows. It must still be nighttime, said Dragon. So he went back to bed. Chapter 2, Housework Dragon's floor was very dirty. He got his broom and began to sweep. When he was finished sweeping, the floor was still dirty. So Dragon swept again, and there was still dirt everywhere. There sure is a lot of dirt on this floor, said Dragon. <laughs> Dragon swept all morning long and into the afternoon. He carried out wheelbarrows filled with dirt. All his sweeping left a very big hole in his floor. Finally, the male mouse came by. She looked at all the dirt outside the house. She looked at the big hole inside the house. What's going on in here? asked the male mouse. I'm sweeping my floor, said Dragon. It's very dirty. But you have a dirt floor, said the male mouse. It is made of dirt. Dragon looked at the hole he had swept and scratched his big head. Looks like you've made a mess, said the male mouse. Looks like I've made a basement, said Dragon. Chapter 3, Yard Work Dragon looked at the big pile of dirt in his yard. What am I going to do with all this dirt, he wondered. He got a shovel and dug a big, deep hole. Then he scooped the dirt into the hole. Well, that takes care of that, said Dragon. Now where did this come from? Chapter 4, Shopping Dragon looked in his cupboard, but there was no food at all. The cupboard is bare, said Dragon. Time to go shopping. Dragon got into his car and drove. The food store was at the top of a hill. It was a very steep drive. Dragon loved to go shopping. He was a very wise shopper. He bought food only from the five basic food groups. He bought cheese curls from the dairy group. <laughs> he bought donuts from the bread group. He bought ketchup from the fruits and vegetables group. And he bought pork rinds from the meat group. <laughs> and he bought fudge pops from the chocolate group. There's no chocolate group. And he's just buying junk food. Dragon had a balanced diet. <laughs> I don't think so. He had so much food that he could not fit it all into his car. I know what I'll do, said Dragon. I'll eat some of the food right now, and then the rest will, will fit in the car. Dragon sat in the parking lot and started to eat. He crunched up the cheese curls. He downed the donuts. He packed away the pork rinds. Dragon ate and ate and ate until all the food was gone. Burp! Now Dragon could not fit into his car. Oh, what am I going to do, cried Dragon. He thought and thought and scratched his big head. I know what I'll do, said Dragon. I'll push my car home. So Dragon pushed his car down the hill. The car began to roll faster and faster and faster and faster. Finally, Drag Dragon's car came to a stop right in front of his house. 
all the excitement had made dragon very hungry he went into his kitchen and looked in the cupboard and there was no food at all the cupboard is bare said dragon time to go shopping <laughs> well thank good he had thank, thank goodness he had that pile of dirt there otherwise he would have ran right into his house but then look flew right in chapter five good night dragon it had been a long busy day and now it was bedtime dragon was very groggy so he brushed his head and combed his teeth he watered his bed and crawled into his plants and fell fast asleep it's pretty funny so again, there's that number.